हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रंस टुडे थर्ड जुलाई फ्राइडे ना योर न्यू चैप्टर इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू ग्राफ एट ए बी सी डी ऑल सेक्शंस न्यू चैप्टर इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू ग्राफ दिस इज सिमिलर यू ऑलरेडी डन इन क्लास सेवन्थ हाउ टू प्लॉट ए पॉइंट्स ऑन ए ग्राफ पेपर्स फॉर दिस यू कैन टेक योर ग्राफ नोटबुक this your introductions we have seen graph in newspaper televisions magazines etc the idea of representations by graph is to so numerical facts in visual form so that they can be understood clearly and easily therefore a graph is a visual representation of data a visual representation of data collected data can be presented in the form of a table but graphical presentation it easier to interpret now for in this class you have linear graph linear means straight linear means straight a linear graph displays data that changes continuously over period of time what is your linear graph linear graph displays data that changes continuously over periods of time to draw such a line we need to locate a few points on the graph sheet we will now learn how to locate a point on the graph sheet how we locate a point on the graph sheet so i have give the introduction of cartesian plane what do you mean by cartesian plane for cartesian plane first of all we can draw two perpendicular lines one is horizontal line that is x axis and other one is perpendicular lines that is oy so to plot a point first of all we have to draw two lines one horizontal line ox is called x axis and oy is called y axis both these x axis and y axis meet at point o this point is this point o is called your origin where here x coordinate and y coordinates both are zero both x and y coordinates are zero so after that we can use scale so first of all you know the what is a cartesian plane take a square grid or a graph paper and make a point o on it this point o is called your origin draw a horizontal line this horizontal line is called your ox and vertical line is called your oy both horizontal and vertical line meet at point o this point o is called your origin here x coordinate and y coordinate both are zero zero it means your graph start from zero along x axis and along y axis the point o is known as the origin and ox and oy are known as the x axis and y axis respectively the lines ox and oy are together known as coordinate axis the line ox and oy together known as the coordinate axis and x oy plane is known as cartesian plane this x o y plane is known as cartesian plane now plotting a point on cartesian plane how we can locate a point on cartesian i have take one uh, simple example on your graph papers you also get this uh, graph notebook from bazaar and do some this worksheet 1 and 2 again we can draw two lines one horizontal line other vertical lines yes ox is called your horizontal line and oy is called your vertical line both these horizontal and vertical line meet at o point o o is called your origin here x coordinate and y coordinate both are zero now this x o y plane is called called your cartesian plane now here i can uh, take one bit is now look here on graph papers there are 10 small parts 10 small parts from one b divisions 
Yeah, in one big divisions, there are 10 millimeters. There are 10 centimeters. Similarly, you can use a scale. This is your scale. In scale, one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. From zero to one, there are 10 millimeters. If you count all these small parts, these small parts are known as millimeters. Similarly, if you move from seven to eight, in seven to eight there are 10 small parts. These small parts are known as your millimeter. It means from seven to eight, one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. So like in your graph, from this, from this to this, there are uh, 10 small parts and from here to here again there are 10 small along x-axis and along y-axis. This is called your square. This full is called your square. Here x coordinate is your x, x coordinate is your 1 unit and y coordinate is also your 1 unit. Means there are 10 small parts along x-axis and there are 10 in a square. Both along x-axis and y-axis there are 10 small parts. Okay, so this is called your 1 centimeter square, 1 centimeter square. So 1 square centimeters, 1 square. So I have taken uh, 1 big division, 1 big division is equal to 10 unit, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Along y axis again 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and so on. Now after that I take x is your 40 and y is your 20. So join this. 40 and 20, they meet at point P. 40 is your X coordinate and 20 is your Y coordinate. Now one important, listen carefully. Here BP is perpendicular distance from Y axis and PA is perpendicular distance from X axis. The perpendicular distance from X axis is known as your Y coordinate. And the perpendicular distance from y axis is known as x coordinate. So, what is your x coordinate? x coordinate is also called your abscissa A, B, S, C, I, W, S, A. x coordinate. What is your x coordinate? It is a distance from P perpendicular from y axis. Perpendicular from y axis. And distance from P, distance from P and per perpendicular from x axis, it is called your y coordinate. So here y coordinate means from this to this, this is your 20 and x coordinate which is a perpendicular distance from y axis, this is from here to here, there are 40 unit. So 40 your x coordinate and 20 is your y coordinate. x coordinate is also known as abscissa and y coordinate is also known as ordinate. So both abscissa and ordinate meet at point P. Here x coordinate is your 40 and y coordinate is your 20. So in this way, you, first of all you can go for this introduction part. Yes, you also open this guy introduction part and Cartesian plane. So read it properly and uh, give the all the informations regarding your Cartesian plane and how you can plot a points on a graph papers. After that, uh, I move from this worksheet 1. Now look here. Do worksheet 1 of this uh, introduction graph. Write the answer to each of the following questions. What is the name of the horizontal and vertical lines drawn to determine the position of any point in the Cartesian plane? So horizontal line is called your x-axis and vertical line is called your y-axis. Write the name of the point where the above two lines meet these two lines meet at point origin this, these two lines are met at point o that is called your origin now next plot the following points on the graph so how you can plot it so i ignore this second and third you can uh, take a graph papers and plot all the points on these two if you take a uh, draw one horizontal line and vertical lines and uh, then plot all the points so I go for uh, question number fourth. Plot the points 2, 3, A 2, 3, B 5, 3, C 5, 5 and D 2, 5 on graph. Connect the points in that order so as to get a close figure A, B, C, D. What type of figure do you get? So to plot the points on a graph paper, first of all we can draw two lines. One horizontal line that is x axis OX and vertical line that is OY. 
OY is called your Y axis and uh, OX is called your X axis. Both X axis and Y axis they meet at point O. O is called your horizon. Here X coordinate and Y coordinate both are zero zero. Now plot a points. Now before plotting a points, first we can use scale used along X axis. This is your X axis. One big division is one big division means one centimeter. One big division means one centimeter. One big division is equal to one unit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again along y axis, again one big division is equal to one unit. One, two, three, four, five, six. In this way, you can take first your scale. Because this scale used along axis, along y axis, and this is your horizontal line and vertical lines. They meet at point O. This will contain your one marks. This will contain your one marks. After that, plotting a points on a graph papers. First, your point is A two three. X coordinate is your two and Y is your three. X is your two and Y is your one two three. Join both these uh, meet at point A two three. Your B is five three. Five means X coordinate is your five and Y is your three. X is your five. One, two, three, four, five. Y is your two, two. This five, three. Next C is five, five. X is five. Y is five. They meet at point five, five. This is your point C and D is two, five. It means X is your two and Y is your five. Join A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A. So this close figure A, B, C, D is called your rectangle because A, B. Contain your one, two, three unit, and BC contain your one, two. Here uh, length and breadth are different, so this closed figure is known as your rectangle. Is known as so. In this way, you can uh, do this uh, worksheet first. This will be your homework. So today, get uh, this uh, graph notebook and uh, complete this worksheet one. After fifth is also similar of these questions. Next, state true or false. Give reason for your answer. A point whose x coordinate is zero. A point whose x coordinate is zero will lie on x y axis. A point whose x coordinate is zero will lies on y axis. This is your wrong. It lies on x axis. A point. Yes. A point whose x coordinate is zero. It means x is zero. Y is something it lies on क्या Y axis yes true a point whose Y coordinate is zero will lie on X axis yes a point whose Y coordinate is zero so it lies on X axis yes true the coordinate of the first true second true the coordinate of the origin are one and one this is your origin the coordinate of origins are X coordinate is also zero and Y is your zero. Here coordinates are X is on Y. This is your wrong. So first, a point whose X coordinate is zero. If X is zero, then this point is lies on Y axis. If Y is zero, then this point is lies on X axis. So in this way, you can solve this uh, worksheet first. Introduction to graph. So thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.